Welcome to Dentamax. In this video, I'll be reviewing the age and frequency alerts that are now available in Dentamax. To begin, I'm going to go to a patient's information screen. For example, Kayla Hall. I'll open up her patient information screen, and I just want to take note of a few pieces of information. First of all, you'll notice that Kayla is 40 years old. She also does carry insurance through MetLife. And if I click on MetLife, you'll notice that under the Frequency and Limits tab, there are a few limits noted. For example, the D0120 periodic exam has a frequency allowance under this MetLife insurance plan of once every six months. The Profi also has a frequency allowance of once every six months plus one day. And the sealants are allowed under this plan, but only through age 13. If I go to the schedule and attempt to make an appointment for Kayla and add a few of those procedures, for example, new treatment item D0120, save my changes, you'll notice that we immediately get a pop-up before that procedure is even saved that states that the limit has been reached for the D0120 and the limit allowance is once per six months. This is telling me that the patient's already had this procedure done in the last six months. So if we're gonna proceed with scheduling this item, I need to make sure the patient's aware that they'll need to pay for it out of pocket if they wanna proceed. It does also tell you that one was completed on January 20th of 2020, which is within the six month range. Now I have the option as to whether or not I wanna proceed with scheduling that charge. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, and then we'll also add a sealant. So I'll click new item, put in my 1351, and select tooth number three, and once again, save my changes. And here's our pop-up regarding the age limit for that item. Are you sure you wanna save this change? The age limit for a D1351 is 13, years old and the patient is 40 years old. So once again, I have a nice alert warning me that the patient should be advised they're gonna need to pay out of pocket for this procedure. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes once again and save my changes on this appointment. As soon as I hit save, we get the alert one more time just to make sure we're okay with saving those two procedures in case you didn't see it the first time. If I go ahead to Kayla's chart screen and we're gonna treatment plan a sealant from here, we'll go ahead and select that sealant procedure and add it to tooth number 13. The system is not gonna give you a warning at that point, mainly because if it's something related to a frequency limit, you're not necessarily scheduling the procedure at the time that you're treatment planning it. Also, if the recommendation is to have the sealant done, that shouldn't be influenced by whether or not it's covered by insurance when the doctor is making his recommendations. That's why the system is gonna give you a warning when you're actually scheduling the procedure so that you can advise the patient of their charges if you haven't done so already. Keep in mind also that the patient's age may have changed from the time that you made the plan and to the time that you're actually scheduling the procedure, and they may have had procedures done that changed their frequency allowance from the time you treatment plan to the time you're actually scheduling the procedure. To go back and take a look at that insurance plan, if you'd like to set up additional frequency options or limits, you'll simply go to that insurance plan, open the frequency tab, and click Add Limit for Procedure. Then you can simply enter the procedure, for example, a D0210 for an FMX. If you have any additional notes, such as that procedure needs to be done with another procedure at the same time, or that they're not allowed on the same day, those sorts of notes you can certainly add here under the Note tab. And then under the frequency tab, simply select the appropriate frequency level for that procedure and for this insurance plan. For example, an FMX oftentimes is allowed every three years, five years, or seven years. So whatever is appropriate for this plan is what I'm gonna go ahead and select. If there is an age limit on a procedure, once again, 
go ahead and click add limit for procedure, punch in the procedure code, and then put in the age limit for that item. If the patient is age 13 and the age limit is 14, they'll still be allowed to have the procedure done while the patient is 13. In the other example of a sealant, the age limit is 13. So that means anyone who's under 13 is allowed to have that procedure done. So keep those parameters in mind while you're setting up your frequency information. If you have any additional questions on setting up your frequency or age limits on your insurance plan and how that relates to the scheduler, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-704-8494 or email training at dentamax.com. Thank you.